Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss the cross product. Let's go ahead and do an example of finding the cross product. The example says, find the cross product, a cross b, given the vector a equal to 2i hat plus j hat minus k hat, and the vector b equal to i hat plus 2j hat plus 3k hat. Work through it very carefully, solution. So one thing I like to do in these problems is to first write the vectors in component form. So the vector a is equal to, you write the little bracket, and then you just write the number that's in front of the i hat, so in this case two. There's really a one in front of the j hat that no one writes, but we will write it now as the second component, so one. And there's a negative one in front of the k hat, so negative one. And then let's do b. Same thing, except this time it'll be one, two, and three. So it's the vector with components one, two, and three. All right, let's go ahead and start the computation of the cross product. So A cross B, by the way, it matters, okay? It does matter. Um, the question says A cross B, so it's important to find A cross B. B cross A is actually not the same. This is equal to, and then what you do is you draw vertical lines. And basically, you're going to compute a determinant. In the first row of this determinant, you're going to write i hat, j hat, k hat. So it's i hat, j hat, k hat. In the second row, you write the vector you wrote first. So in this case, it was the vector a. So it's 2, 1, negative 1. And in the third row, you write the next vector, which is b, which will be 1, 2, 3. So again, in the first row, you always have the i hat, j hat, and k hat, and then you have the vector a, then you have the vector b. Okay, so then what you do is you just have to go one piece at a time. We're first going to focus on the i hat piece, okay? So I'm going to cross something out, and then I'm going to uncross it out. So watch this. You go to the first row and cross it out, and cross out the first column. And see, so you're left with this, 1, negative 1, 2, 3. 1, negative 1, 2, 3. You want to take the determinant of that, okay? I'm going to write it over here. 1, negative 1, 2, 3. And then you write the i hat. And the pattern is plus, minus, plus, okay? It's plus, minus, plus. The first one was a plus. Now you go to the minus. And now we go to the j hat. And again, you cross out the row for j hat. You cross out the column for j hat. And you see what's left. 2, negative 1, 1, 3. 2, negative 1, 1, 3. Okay, so then you write it here in a determinant. So 2, negative 1, 1, 3. And then you put the j hat. And then the pattern is plus, minus, plus. So the last one is plus. Now you go to the k hat. You cross out the corresponding row and column. You have 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2. Okay. So then you write the determinant, 2, 1, 1, 2, and then you have the k hat. Let's go over that again because once you can do that, you're probably going to get the question right. It's really easy to make mistakes, so we still have to be really careful, but this is the most important step. So the formula is really something called cofactor expansion. So if you study linear algebra, you'll learn to do this a different way. Basically the same way, but you'll memorize it a different way. This is the easiest way to memorize it. You just have to memorize plus minus plus, okay, plus minus plus. And then for the first piece, you basically cross out the corresponding row and column of each, of each entry in the first row. Starting with i hat, cross it out, cross it out. You have 1, negative 1, 2, 3. And here you see it, 1, negative 1, 2, 3. Then you go to j hat, cross out the row and column. You have 2, negative 1, 1, 3. 2, negative 1, 1, 3. And then we go to k hat, cross out the row and column. You have 2, 1, 1, 2. 2, 1, 1, 2. And then you just have the pattern, plus, minus, plus. As far as these little determinants here, these are really easy to compute. Let me just refresh your memory over here in case you forgot how to compute a 2 by 2 determinant. So if you have the determinant a, b, c, d, basically this is equal to a times d minus b times c. Okay. So a times d minus b times c. Pretty simple, right? So here, continuing in this problem, we go back to blue. This is equal to, so it'll be 1 times 3, 
and I won't skip any steps. So parentheses one times three minus, you always have a minus, it's from the formula, negative one times two. And you can certainly skip steps, but since this is a video, I'm gonna show every single step just so you see it. So one times three minus negative one times two. And then minus two times three, so parentheses, Two times three, I'm putting everything in parentheses just for added clarity, minus and then negative one times one. Normally you only put the negative numbers in parentheses, right? Because you don't really have to put like two times three in parentheses. No one really does that, <laughs> but I guess I'm doing it here. And the last one is plus, parentheses, two times two. I'll omit the parentheses this time to be bad, minus one times one. So you see the parentheses aren't really necessary. I was just over parenthesizing there. Let's check our work very carefully. One times three minus negative one times two. Boom, there it is. One times three minus negative one times two. Minus two times three minus negative one times one. Checks. Two times two minus one times one. Checks. All right, let's finish up. This is gonna be three. Minus and minus is plus, so it's plus two. I hat minus parentheses six plus one j hat and then plus four minus one is three k hat so finishing up here we have five i hat minus seven j hat plus three k hat and that is actually the final answer that is actually going to be the cross product of the vectors so the cross product of a with b let me write it again a cross B is equal to 5i hat minus 7j hat plus 3k hat. So that's the answer. That's it. We're done. However, let me just mention something here because it's very easy to mess up in these problems. And it's just, just one little minus sign error, one little computation error with the idea at the beginning, and you can mess up. So how can you guarantee that your answer is going to be right? Well, you can check your answers, so let's do that. So we know that our original vectors, I'm gonna write them here. We had that A was equal to, in component form, it was two, one, negative one. And B, in component form, was one, two, three. So I'm gonna show you how to check your answers. So I'm gonna to go to a different color here. Let's go to white. Check, this is super cool and super useful, okay? So basically, the way you can check your answers is by noting that when you take the cross product of two vectors, you get a vector, and this vector is orthogonal to both A and B. That means if you take the dot product of the cross product with any of your vectors, you're gonna get zero. So if I do A cross B dot A, I should get zero. If I do A cross B dot B, I should get zero. So to check, because this vector, A cross B, is orthogonal to both A and B. In other words, it's perpendicular to both A and B. The dot product of your answer with any of your original vectors should be zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and write A cross B again in component form. Well, for the first time, actually, I never did it. So it's five, negative seven, three. Five, negative seven, three. Again, just looking at uh, the numbers in front of I, I hat, J hat, and K hat. So let's do it. Let's do A cross B. I'll put a parenthesis here for added clarity, dot uh, A. And we can look over here on the right and we can do it directly. Basically, you multiply and add the corresponding entries. So five times two plus, that's how you get the dot product, right? You just multiply the entries and add the results. Negative seven times one plus, and the last one is three times negative one. And this is going to be equal to 10 minus 10, which is equal to zero. So it's certainly checked. So really, really easy way to check your answer. And you can do the same thing with B. If you check, if you actually work it out, if you do A cross B dot B, you should get the same thing. You should end up with zero. So easy way to check your answers. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully you've learned something. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out Chegg for more videos. Good luck and take care.